welcome to the recap of Dancing with the Stars, All Stars, The Results Show. So they began the show rather quickly with a troop dance and it also included some of the pros. It was freaking awesome. I thought for sure that it was choreographed by Louis Van Amstel, but it was Henry from the troupe. It definitely reeked of Louis, but he was in it. <laughs> All right, so first couple in Jeopardy, Bristol and Mark. Uh-oh. All right, uh, then they had a little video package by Carson Kressley. He's been hanging around for the last two days. He had a behind the scenes look at the makeup and the dress rehearsal right up through the pre-show and the show. It was so cool. I just want to be in the show. I wish Carson Kressley was my gay. I really do. He's so awesome. Uh, then they trotted out Christina Grimmy and the Legion of Extraordinary Dancers, a.k.a. LXD. Uh, they usually tape this segment, but they're doing it effing live. <laughs> It was pretty awesome. I have to admit, I'm a sucker for LXD. And uh, this was choreographed by Christopher Scott. Who else would choreograph it? Come on. Didn't he, like, found that troupe anyway? Uh, they also included a ballerina on point who did a quick change and then she was barefoot. It was pretty cool. I really, I, I love the whole ballerina idea, the whole concept. It was fabulous. I was only wishing that it would be the one... Uh, from So You Think You Could Dance, but it wasn't. All right, so then we find out that Apollo and Karina are the second couple in Jeopardy. Oh, no! All right, then they had a little uh, segment on Cheryl Burke and her whole passion project, which basically is she's doing a cha-cha along with two couples that she grew up with. And the whole thing is inspired by Tito Puente. And they had uh, some guy up there who was pretending to be like Tito Puente. It was really cool. Um, the dancing in this segment was top freaking notch. Some of the best dancing that I've seen on the show. It was really good. All right. Uh, then we find out that the last couple in Jeopardy is Kirsty and Max. Oh. All right. So, <laughs> yeah. Scary, right? Donny Osmond and Susan Boyle come out and Tristan and Kim do a little dance while the two of them are singing but what the hell was going on with Susan Boyle? She looked like she needed some major freak out control. When it was her turn to sing she was all like shaky and then she kind of got into it but then like the harmonies between her and Donny Osmond were not good and I'm thinking it was her fault. <laughs> Oh, I, she's just like so, she has problems, right? I mean, it's I'm not imagining things. I thought before in the past she was a lot more confident. I don't know, I guess she's got like panic disorder or something. But I feel for her. Anyway, it's time to pick teams for the freestyle next week. So Gilles and Peta and Sean and Derek are the team captains. So let's just, I'm not going to go through, ooh, this one, pick this one, and then that. No, let's just say on Team Gilles, they're dancing to Gangnam Style. Lucky friggin' ducks. Uh, Kelly and Val, because they want to keep it sexy. Kirsty and Max, I don't know why. <laughs> Emmett and Cheryl. All right, so then on the other team, they're dancing to Call Me Maybe. Not as cool as Gangnam Style, but not bad. I guess because it's Guilty Pleasures Week, it's like pop songs. Sabrina and Louie, Melissa and Tony, and Apollo and Karina. No one chose Bristol or Mark, and I, and I felt bad for them because no one wants to be picked last. But it didn't matter anyway because Bristol and Mark were the eliminated team, so the cheese stands alone. Next week, it is all the fun. No eliminations. It's Guilty Pleasures Week. Everybody gets a free pass, and the team dances. So, ho, ho, can't wait. Till then, much love.